Numerous automakers, including Volkswagen, Renault, and Neo, amongst others, have said recently that they're going to bring out affordable new electric cars, 20,000, 22,000, 25,000, and they're going to make a profit on them. The big problem that I personally see here, they haven't revealed how they're going to do it. Now, all of them are saying economies of scale, build more, it'll be cheaper. But simply making more, I don't think will be enough to reduce prices by around about 50%, which is what they need to do. Only one company so far has actually revealed how they plan on reducing the cost of an EV to $25,000. They've revealed that plan back in March. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. My name's Sam Evans, and it's great, great to have all the new subscribers here on board. If you're new to the channel, we have done 3,200 and something videos over the past 24 months since we started. A lot of the videos there delve into battery technology and the future of the automotive industry, which is, of course, incredibly important to your investment decisions. Tesla's new vehicle assembly system that they unveiled back in March has created a lot of buzz and ignited debate among auto manufacturing experts on whether CEO Elon Musk's so-called unboxed process is actually going to work, whether or not it's really any different to what Tesla and other companies are doing right now. Now, Tesla are doing things quite differently to other companies, and they still are, have, don't seem to have taken note on this. For example, Tesla has refined its processes to the point where it's making profit on cars, on affordable cars, on $40,000 cars. No one else right now anywhere in the world except for BYD is able to do that. A lot of automakers apparently are privately saying they don't believe that Tesla's new revolutionary process will actually change much at all. And they're not sure on whether or not it can deliver on its promise of significantly reducing production costs and building more affordable electric vehicles. There's seven parts to this process, which I believe is revolutionary, and I believe is what Tesla are planning to focus on more than anything else, more than the Cybertruck, more than the Model 3, more than the Model Y, more than anything. The Model 2, the Model A, whatever you want to call it, I believe Tesla sees this as the future of the company. They say that they'll make more of this model than the rest of all of their cars combined by a factor of two. That's huge. That would mean millions, millions of these vehicles being produced likely in Mexico to begin with. Now, there's seven parts to this strategy from Tesla. The first, they are rethinking manufacturing. Tesla CEO Elon Musk believes that conventional manufacturing methods need to be radically rethought to make EVs more affordable and profitable in higher volumes. The unboxed assembly process, as Tesla are calling it, is intended to enable Tesla to achieve its ambitious price target of EVs at $25,000 US dollars while still making a profit. That's ambitious. Point two, the potential impact. Some experts see Tesla's process as revolutionary, capable of upending traditional moving assembly lines and reducing production costs enormously. It has the potential to eliminate steps, increase speed, reduce complexity, and create new patterns of working. However, others question whether relying on previously tested techniques, such as modular assembly, can deliver the dramatic cost reductions that Tesla is claiming. Number three, promised benefits. Tesla executives stated that the unboxed process can cut production costs in half and reduce factory footprint by a massive 40%. This will lead to significantly simpler and more affordable vehicles. And as Elon Musk says, the best part is no part. These claims will be fully tested when the system is installed at Tesla's new plant in Monterrey, Mexico in late 2024. Number six, industry impact. The impact of Tesla's process on the automotive industry remains uncertain. Some experts wonder if it could render traditional lean manufacturing methods, such as the Toyota production system, as obsolete. In fact, most experts in China believe it already is obsolete. 
However, it is still unclear if Tesla's process will live up to its expectations. Given the company's history of misproduction deadlines and challenges with unproven technology. Now, of course, the thing is, right? It is true that Tesla has missed deadlines, but do we apply these same principles to other companies? Do we criticize General Motors for saying they'd have 18 electric cars available in October of 2022 when they only had three? Do we criticize Toyota for saying in 2014, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19 that they would have solid state batteries in their EVs now, today, in fact, that they would have, would have had them two years ago? No, we don't. We don't hold them accountable, but we hold Tesla accountable because they have ambitions that are lofty and they often actually achieve them. Point five, key differences. Lean manufacturing gurus like James Womack and Hyde Ober highlight differences between Toyota's production management system and Tesla's assembly process. Toyota's system is a comprehensive approach that helps automakers run assembly processes and related operations efficiently while Tesla's method is primarily focused on the assembly process itself. And this is where I personally see the advantage for Tesla's system. It's focusing on eliminating all cost involved, reducing weight. It's focused on the small details in a way that meant that when Toyota's engineers actually tore down a Tesla Model Y, they said it was engineering genius. Risks and challenges. Point six, critics of the unbox process are raising concerns about its rigidity and synchronization requirements. Production of the large unbox vehicle modules must be perfectly synchronized for the system to work efficiently and effectively. There are also doubts about Tesla's ability to produce multiple vehicle models on the same production line due to the radical slicing of the vehicle into big blocks, potentially limiting manufacturing flexibility. The only thing here to keep in mind though is, Whilst this may be true for some auto companies, Tesla does own a robotics company called Groman Engineering, and they actually build the robots that build Tesla's cars. And there's probably a fairly good understanding from people like Elon Musk himself on what those systems and what those production lines that Tesla has in mind would be capable of. Seven, future complexity. As Tesla's model lineup becomes more varied and more complex, some experts express doubts about the system's ability to adapt. The unbox process, while potentially efficient for certain vehicle configurations, may face challenges accommodating future variations in size and body style. Basically, uh, critics are saying, here's why it won't work. Elon Musk saying, here's why it will work. Now, what do you think? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Personally, I believe Tesla have revolutionized the way we build cars today. And I think the critics here uh, the naysayers who say, no, 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 we should do things the way they've always been done. We've, we've done the, in big auto, we've done things a certain way for a hundred years. Things shouldn't change. If Tesla's changing the paradigm, then that must be wrong. There's going to be a vast amount of mistakes if you want to change the paradigm. Ultimately, the success of Tesla's unboxed process and its impact on the automotive industry will be determined by how well it performs while implemented at massive scale. We're talking millions of vehicles per year. But keep this in mind. Once upon a time, in the world of automobiles, a visionary entrepreneur named Elon Musk set out on a mission to revolutionize transportation and accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. He founded a company called Tesla, fueled by his determination to redefine what an electric car could be. As Tesla grew, it faced numerous challenges and skeptics who all doubted the visibility of electric vehicles, the reality of them, that people wouldn't want them, they called them golf carts and they believed that they would never truly catch on. However, Elon Musk and his team remained steadfast in their commitment to innovation and pushed the boundaries of what was possible. With every passing year, Tesla continued to push the boundaries of electric mobility. The company unveiled the Model Y, an all-electric compact SUV, catering to the growing demand for versatile and spacious electric vehicles. In the month of March this year, they sold 50,000 of one single model alone in Europe, breaking records for car sales that hadn't been broken for over a decade. Simultaneously, Tesla set its sights on the future, 
with the development of the Cybertruck. A bold and futuristic electric pickup truck that challenges conventional design and showcases Tesla's commitment to pushing boundaries. No other car has ever been mass produced using stainless steel or 9,000 ton gigapresses. Throughout its journey, Tesla has had its fair share of hurdles. It came very close to bankruptcy. From production challenges to regulatory obstacles, Tesla has faced insane challenges and somehow it still survived. It's been quite remarkable. But the company's relentless spirit and unwavering dedication to its mission has propelled it forward. Tesla's impact on the automotive industry is undeniable. With traditional automakers forced to accelerate their own electric vehicle plans in response to one company. When has that ever happened before? Well, it's happening now. This disruptive force is what Tesla has become. Now, when Tesla reduces prices, it seems as though everyone else is forced to act. As the world enters a new era of transportation, Tesla has stood as a symbol of innovation, sustainability, and the power of a bold vision. Have a dream and achieve it. I think a lot of it comes down to that entrepreneurial American spirit. With each passing year, the roads have become filled with more and more Tesla vehicles and electric cars now from other brands as well. But Tesla's influence over the industry seems to continue to grow. Experts say, well, it's only a matter of time before all the Tesla killers are here to take all their sales away and Tesla will soon disappear. But it never happens. In the end, Tesla's story was not just about electric cars. It was about challenging the status quo, reimagining the future, and proving that a sustainable world is within reach through their relentless pursuit of excellence. And I'm talking about Tesla's engineers here. their IT engineers, their software engineers, their mechanical engineers, their battery engineers. Tesla has inspired a new generation of automakers and, and youth, kids, teenagers, even adults, the concept of Tesla itself, in many ways, is inspirational. Now, not only has Tesla inspired people, it's inspired companies, it's inspired competitors, automakers, to actually change what they do, to change their processes, to try to keep up. This sets the stage for a future where clean and efficient transport will reign supreme, where affordable EVs will be available for everyone. So in my view, the story of Tesla is not what the media makes it out to be, the negative daily news cycle. It is a reminder that with determination and a steadfast belief in what is possible, one can shape the world and drive change that reverberates far beyond the world of automobiles. But hey, maybe I'm just a fanboy. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.